Hi, I'm Jim Sneddon. I'm the Director of Regeneration here at Glasgow Housing Association. And I'm introducing an article by Stuart Carr of PRP Architects about something we call the £100 house or the Glasgow house. Now, the starting point for the, this house, the idea for this house, came from not the sustainability agenda, but actually came from an attempt to try and save some money for our tenants, to put a wee bit more money in their pockets. Because if you're going to try and regenerate parts of Glasgow, the worst parts of Glasgow, then the best way you can do that is to make sure that the people there have the means to actually change their lives. Now the house is uh, an innovative house and as much as we are not using expensive or complicated technology, we're using stuff that already exists. We've got four houses on trial that are being built at uh, City Builds Skills Academy, being built by skilled and semi-skilled labour, where we'll test these houses to make sure that they actually meet what we say it can do, and that is to heat it for £100 for a year. Now, the average tenant we've got in Glasgow pays about £1,100 a year for heating and hot water. Now, if we can get it down to 100 that's £1,000 a year we can put into their pockets. Now that money can be used to change their lives, it can be for more childcare, it could be for some training, it could be for better nutrition, it could be for a whole host of things. But the idea is to try and make these houses as cost effective to live in. The other main ingredient in the house is to make sure that it is cheaper than the current houses we build. There's no point in having a house that costs you more to build to save a wee bit of money for the tenants. So this is something that we want to roll out across Glasgow and hopefully across the rest of Scotland and the UK.